Magandang buhay! Welcome back to Virtual Class. I'm Teacher Reg, your virtual teacher in Science Grade 4. In today's lesson, you will be learning about how light, heat, and sound travel. At the end of this lesson, you are able to describe how light, heat, and sound travel. Are you ready to learn? Come on! Let's get started! Have you ever seen a lightning flash in the sky? Have you ever heard a thunder? Which do you think travels faster? Is it the light or the sound? Light travels faster than the sound. As you observe during stormy weather, you see a flash of light in the sky accompanied by a thunder. Lightning is an electrical discharge caused by imbalances between storm clouds and the ground or within the clouds themselves. Light, heat, and sound travel in different ways. Many scientists have been studying the nature of light. Some say that light behaves like a wave. Other scientists say that light behaves like a group of particles. Light always travels in a straight line when going through a single medium, any substance through which a light wave can travel. To understand light further, we must study how it interacts with different objects. Optics is the branch of science that study refraction, reflection, absorption, and transmission. Refraction, it refers to the bending of light as it passes through the different materials. For example, the pen in a glass of water appears bent because the different parts of the materials interacts with light. The parts of the pencil that is not deep in the water interacts with the water. Light moves faster in the air than in water. This is the reason why the pencil looks bent. Reflection is when light bounces off an object. If the surface is smooth, and shiny like glass, water, and polished metal. The light will reflect at the same angle as it hits the surface. Some object with an even surface reflect light in scattered way. Absorption, it refers to the materials taking in of light and not reflecting it. When we look at things, the color that we see is a light which reflected from the object. For example, if we look at the red apple, it reflects red and absorbs or takes in all the colors but red. Next is transmission. Transmission refers to the passing of light through some materials. For example, when light passed through a glass window, it is transmitted to other side. Objects that allow the most of the light to pass through them are called transparent, such as glass and some plastics. Objects that allow some light to pass through them are translucent. There are also objects that do not allow light to pass through them. It is called opaque such as concrete walls, wood, metal, and clay. Like light, heat travels in different ways. It travels by conduction, convection, and radiation. Conduction, it is the transfer of heat through solid materials. Convection, it is the transfer of heat through a fluid caused by a molecular motion. And radiation is the transfer of heat across 
empty space or vacuum. Radiation does not depend on the presence of matter to transfer heat. Radiant energy travels as waves through space. Heat transferred by radiation is invisible to the eye and not affected by air flow. To summarize the different heat transfer, look at this illustration. So we have here the convection, which is the transfer of heat through a fluid caused by a molecular motion. And we have here also the conduction, which is the transfer of heat or electric current to another by direct contact. And lastly, the radiation. It is the energy that is transmitted in the form of rays or particles. Sound, like light, is a form of energy. Sound energy is produced by vibrating objects. Once an object vibrates, sound are produced. Sound waves travel at different speeds through different media. As it travels, a sound wave is created in response to a vibration and how easily they move back to their original position. Another cause is how strongly the particles are attached or attracted to each other. Sound needs a medium like gases, solids, or liquids. The speed at which sound travels depends in the medium. Sound travels faster through most solids and liquids than air. Sound travels fastest in solids because the particles of solids are close to one another. Some sound are loud and others are soft. The softness or loudness of a sound is called volume. So volume is the softness or loudness of a sound. The loudness of the sound refers to its intensity. Sounds that have high intensity are loud like the sound of a thunder and the music from a rock concert. The sound is also characterized by frequency. Frequency is the number of vibrations the source makes or the receiver receives per second. The higher the frequency, the higher is the pitch of the sound produced or received. Now, it's experiment time! In this experiment, it focuses on the path of light. So, here's the materials that we are going to need in our experiment. So, we have the flashlight, the cardboard or the illustration boards, box and tape. So, make sure to put a hole in the middle of the tea cardboard or illustration board. Let's start our experiment. First, get a flashlight and focus it at a distance wall or at the ceiling. Observe the path of light. Next, get a cardboard and block the path of light coming from the flashlight. Then, Get the three illustration boards, make a hole each on the middle of illustration boards. Tape it inside an empty box with at least two inches away from each other. But the hole in the illustration board should be aligned in such a way that the wall of the box could be seen through the holes. Focus the flashlight through the first hole and observe what will happen. Next, misalign the illustration board in the middle and then keep the light aimed at the illustration board. Observe what happens. Let's try to answer the following guided questions. Number one, 
Did the light form a straight line when you focus it on the wall or a ceiling without blockage? So the answer is, yes, it does. Number two, when you block the light with a thick cardboard, was it able to pass through it? And why? The answer is, no, because the cardboard blocked the light from the flashlight. Number three, when I align the illustration boards with holes, was the light able to pass through it? Explain your answer. With the three holes aligned, the light was able to pass through it. Number four. When one of the illustration board was not aligned with the other illustration boards, was the light able to pass through the other illustration boards? Why? The answer is, the light could not pass through the other illustration boards. The illustration board in the middle blocked the path of light. And number five, what can you say about the way light travels? So the answer is, the light travels in straight line when going through a single medium through which a light wave can travel. Do you want more? Okay, let's have another experiment. So this time we are going to use candle, a nail, butter, and matchsticks. Safety reminders, be careful in using the materials. Always seek help from your parents or guardians in doing this activity. Now let's start our experiment. First, light the candle with a matchstick. Ask the help of your parents or guardians. Scoop a butter then spread it to the half end close to the head of the nail. With the use of a pair of tongs, hold the part of the nail where you spread the butter. Then slowly bring the part of the nail without margarine to the tip of the flame of the candle. Hold the nail in the flame until you observe a change in the margarine. Let's answer the guided questions. First, what happened to the butter on the nail? The answer is, the butter melted. Number two, why do you think it melted? The answer is, the heat from the flame traveled through the nail until it reached the other end of the nail, which caused the butter to melt. And number three, what could you infer from our experiment? The answer is, heat travels from a hot object to a cold object. So always remember, the heat travels from hot to cold. If we are using metal tong, or if we will continue using the metal tong to expose the nail to the flame, what do you think what will happen to the metal tong? So, the metal tongue will become hot because the heat continues to trouble, especially in metal. Metal is a good conductor of heat. Conductors allow heat or electric current to flow through easily. That's why metal are good conductors. But there are materials that do not allow heat transfer or transfer heat slowly. It is called Insulators. Insulators do not allow heat transfer or transfer heat slowly. Examples of insulators are some plastics, wood, rubber, and ceramics. Let's do exercise one. Complete the sentences by choosing your answer inside the box. Good luck and enjoy this activity. Number one. Heat travels by conduction convection, and blank. Number two, blank is the bending of light as it travels from one type of material to another. Choose your answer in the box below. So there are choices, reflection, refraction, convection, radiation, solids, conduction, and wave. Number three, 
blank is the transfer of heat from one place to another by movement in fluids. And number four, sound travel faster in blank than in air. So again, choose your answer in the box below. And number five, blank is the bounce back of light into the direction of the source. Choose your answer in the box below. Let's have our exercise two. Write true if the statement is correct and write false if the statement is wrong. Number one, light can be reflected if it is directed towards a mirror. Number two, Refraction is the bouncing back of light that strikes a clear surface. Number three, when somebody faces a mirror, his reflection can be seen in a reversed manner. So again, just write true if the statement is correct and false if the statement is wrong. Number four, light travels faster in air than in liquids. Number five, the speed of light remains the same even if it travels from one material to another. Just write true if the statement is correct and false if the statement is wrong. Now let's have our last exercise. Our exercise 3 is you're going to find the following words in the table, then box the letters of the word that you will find. So this is a word puzzle. So you are going to find the following words. The echo, loud, vibrations, soft, and sound. You have 30 seconds for this activity. Your time starts now. Now let's check your answers. We have here the echo. Next, loud. Next, vibrations. Soft and sound. Did you get the correct answer? Very good. That's all for today. I hope you learned something new today. Again, I'm Teacher Reg, your virtual teacher in Science 4. Always keep safe and happy learning. Bye!